welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you're new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. So thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Today is the day. Guys, we've made it to the 12th of April. Applause is needed because look at my roots, literally. They start halfway up my head, my nails. Literally every time someone wants to see my engagement ring, I'm like, my nails look so bad. I booked in for my nail appointment tomorrow. I've got my hair doing next week. I'm going for lunch today. The gym's open. But one of the best things is Primark is back open. So today I've got an absolutely huge Primark haul for you. I got up this morning, crack it on. I was outside of Primark for 7 a.m. when they opened the Trilogy store. And I, it was so worth it. It was literally amazing. I did a full hour shop. Just strolled around, putting stuff in my basket. I actually didn't take anything out of my basket. Usually I do like a review of what I've got in my basket today. I was just like, take it all. I've missed it so much. I got a full range of different things. And I also grabbed loads of videos and pictures of stuff that I didn't grab as well. So you can get a full, full experience. The whole point of this is you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to get up at 7am because I've done it for you. And obviously if there is something that you really like, you can head down to Primark. At the moment... The Leeds Trinity is open until half past eight this evening, and then I think they're open today at 7am just to make sure everybody got in early. Um, and also they're doing 28 day returns, and you can return at any till, you don't have to just go to that really annoying till upstairs or wherever it is, and then back corner somewhere that's hard to get to. So. 28 days to return things. I've got some different sizings. I've gone for 12s, 14s and 16s because I've got some mum jeans to try. Um, the ones I used to wear before lockdown were in a size 12 in the mum jeans and they were my favourite mum jeans. I cannot even get them up past my knees now. So I've got them in a 14 and a 16 to try because I just love the mum jeans from Primark so much. So yeah, I've got really crazy wild variety of things to show you today. And I'm just so excited to do a Primark haul. So let's get started. When I walked in, I saw these amazing displays of loads of like spring, summer bits, two pieces, cords, bodysuits. But the one thing I was really excited about that I haven't seen in other stores for this price was the trousers. So I went in on the trousers. I've got a few different trousers to try on. It was very Zara-esque. Um, with the colour palettes, the matching suits, that kind of thing. And also workwear was huge. There was lots and lots of different back to work items. I got lots of pictures and videos of that as well. And yeah, the trousers looked really, really nice. And I, I really do think it's really hard to find a good pair of trousers. And in the past, Primark have fitted my body shape really well. So I've got a few of those to try. The first one is these amazing polka dot trousers they are so gorge they are like a really thin material so i think they'll be perfect for on holiday i got these ones in a 14 and they are eight pounds and i just think they'll be really nice to wear with a bodysuit you could wear like a black bodysuit with it or a white bodysuit with it you could wear it with flat sandals you could wear it with heels it'll just be a really good universal spring summer trouser and because it's not too Thick, you're not going to be too hot in it and it's great for my girls who like to be a little bit more conservative They don't maybe like to get their legs out as much. This is definitely a really good pick So I'm going to try those on for you right now with a bodysuit and let's see what they look like So I forgot to mention this top that I'm going to try these bits on with. I found it. It's obviously like a turtle roll neck with no sleeves, but it's kind of made in like a shapewear material I've got it in a size small so it really sucks me in um, and then I'm gonna try it with these trousers right now. So, love them, find them super flattering. This little bow at the front is really helping to hide this tummy area. Then it's got this elasticated waist, great for the butt, so comfortable. Love them. This is such a summery vibe. I've put some heels with it now, but you could definitely get away with wearing flat shoes with this look as well. I feel really comfortable. Then I also picked up these ones and they really remind me of the trending Zara trousers that are everywhere on any influencers Instagram right now. Especially if you are maybe like a size six to an eight. Literally people are going mad for these Zara trousers. Me personally, I tend to 
want a trouser that's going to really flatter the lower tummy area and not kind of bring attention to it so I don't know what I think about these yet I love this detail on the back because it's going to be more comfortable if you get that bloated tummy it's going to move with it it's not going to be too restricted and then it's got this like fake zip look here but I do actually really like them off the hanger so we shall see got these ones again in the 14 because I'm definitely bottom heavy and the colour is lovely it's like a stone white I think again they'll be really nice for on holiday or throughout summer with different bodysuits and tops and I love it with like a white shirt idea so I might try this on with a white shirt for you guys now and let's see what that looks like I'm thinking like Chloe kind of designer chic spring summer look so let's give that a go now so these ones I'm not 100% on I love the colour but I just feel like they're slightly like I don't know I mean, they are very flattering. I just think because I'm so heavy here on my thighs, like carry a lot of my weight here. They are like, they're not tight though, it's weird. I can really move around in them. I just feel like they're riding up a little bit on my crotch area. But they are really nice in the same way. Love the colour. I just almost wish that this, I hate to say it, wasn't elastic. I wish it was actually like a button because then I feel like it'd keep its shape more there. Whereas I just feel like that I'm gonna be constantly like riding up. Then next, I saw these shorts. So I had to get them in both colors because the cut of these shorts looks so flattering. For me, again, because I'm bottom heavy and I have definite legs rubbing together, chunky thighs, this style of short is usually the most complimentary because it's not tight. You know when you see them and they've got that kind of like turned up hem and you can tell that the fabric is quite structured they're always going to make my legs look bigger where this style where it kind of just hangs it's like this floaty look they're usually very very flattering on my legs so i'm excited to try these ones on the only thing i thought about these when i picked them up is they do look slightly transparent and um, which you're always going to get with white if you're buying it from a cheaper store so i am going to see what they're like they are 10 pound and again i got them in a size 14 and then I also got them in the pink because if you spring my spring at the summer trends report, which I did on YouTube a few weeks ago, this fuchsia pink is huge for this spring summer. So I thought, you know what, if I go to the races or if I go to a wedding or if I go and do like a nice event, I might want like a nice statement short to wear with like a shirt or to wear with a bodysuit or I don't know. I just think it'd be really nice to wear like a really nice statement shot with really tanned legs. Even maybe you could put like a bit of a tropical print with it. There's loads of things you can do with this fuchsia and I think I'm probably gonna do a video on how to style this color because it is quite a tricky one to get right. So I'm gonna give this a go. I really like the shape of these. So let's see how they fit right now. Oh my gosh guys, these shorts are awful. I was completely wrong. This bit, really flattering, but this weird like paper bag waist, no. I feel like, again, it's just like really like, it's just not nice. Well, I'm really disappointed because I thought they'd be really nice, but they are just not baby girl friendly at all. It's because they've got like a ruching detail here where the waistband fits. So the waistband's actually a lot lower than it looked because this is like a fake high. So if they were just like not having this gathering here, I think they would look quite nice because here is really flattering. But then as soon as you like bring it in, I can feel that the waistband here is coming in and then this bit's all ruched, so like gathering this bit of fabric up. No. I think if you've got like a lower tummy area or quite bottom heavy, sadly, these are not the one. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, mum jeans from Primark are one of my absolute faves. So I managed to get some. I got the ripped ripped high waist mum jean i got it in a 14 and a 16 to try because i always find with the denim in any brand if it's a mum jean there's not usually much stretch to it so if you are bottom heavy i always suggest sizing up because you want to have a little bit of a baggy movement look with the mum jeans there's nothing worse than when you get a mum jean and it actually ends up looking like a skinny jean because it's really tight so to get that little bit of bagginess, I've gone for the 16 and then I'll try it in the 14 because sometimes I can actually accommodate for that already. So let's see what they're like. These ones are made with sustainable cotton, which is really good. The Primark Cares range is amazing. They're definitely working on being more environmentally friendly, which we absolutely love. 
So they're 17 pounds and I'm gonna try them on for you right now. So these are the mum jeans in the 16. They are just like slightly too big and like I can feel more aware than they are gonna get baggier and baggier and roll down a little bit. But the 14, too, like the material's just not moving at all. So I definitely would say size up in these, like I said. But I actually do really, really like them. I find the denim is lovely. It's very, very thick and a bit more like a vintage denim. Like if you've ever felt like a vintage Levi, that's the material. There's no stretch at all for this, this denim. Um, so you definitely need to go for a baggier look. And like I said, I just tinned it with this bodysuit and I just think it's such a cute vibe. I'm actually gonna try it on with this. This, this is like a trench blazer. So I'll probably try this on with some of the other bits right now because this is what I'm like. I'll do the video first where I'm talking about the things and then I'll start styling the bits up and then I forget to talk about them while I'm doing them in this bit. So <laughs> you probably will have seen I've added this in somewhere already and it is a cropped blazer trench coat style. I think this is really cute to wear with like a bodysuit and ripped jeans or you could wear it with a skirt. There's loads of different things you can do with it but I think the quality of this feels really nice. They also did have the matching trousers so you could wear it as a suit and then they did have matching shorts as well but they seemed a bit long and I'm only 5 foot 2.5 so I thought you know what I'm not doing the mid, mid shorts I'm just going to go and put it with jeans so I've got that one to try and it is £20 which is quite a lot for Primark really, but it is more of a coat jacket for summer. Um, and again, it's from the Primark Cares range, which is made from sustainable fibers. So I really like this one and I think the color is really nice. So I just wanted to add that one in there before I forget. This is the blazer. To be honest, I thought I would like this more. I thought it'd be more flattering, but it kind of has this like peplum, not peplum, kind of has this like collar. It's a bit like a waterfall color, I think it's called, and I'm not into that. I just think for the money, this is 20 pounds personally would rather have a different brand but it's not, it's, not, it's just not feeling it this one's a 12 I just feel like if I, if I wanted it I feel like I need it to be fitted on the shoulders like it needs to be more like this for it to be flattering I just don't think it's doing a whole lot it's a nah Sad. Then before I move on to any more trying on, I want to talk to you about some of the hosiery and in the front, hoys, hoysery and accessories that I got because it was full, like I was so excited. There was literally so many amazing bits of accessories, bags, jewellery, gym equipment, loads of different stuff. I always get asked as well on Instagram quite a lot about what tights I wear. I always wear Primark tights either in the 60 or the 80 denier. I got a clip here to insert so that you guys can see which ones I go for. And they last me so long, you would never think that they were so cheap. Then when I was in there looking for this, I found these, which are anti-chafing shorts. So recently I've been posting videos for girls who, who maybe don't like to get their legs out as much in summer or they feel a bit self-conscious because of chafing and things like that. Uh, a lot of people did suggest um, chafing chalk, which is like baby baby liquid talc, which is meant to work really well. But then I just saw these ones in Primark, which I'm gonna try now, and they're called anti-chafing shorts with light support. I got one of them in black and nude to try. And I got these ones in medium. They were £3.50, so I thought, you know what, I can't leave them. I think they'll be good to try. I'm also going to do a shapewear review on here really soon. I've got some bits from um, Fashion Nova, Boohoo, Primark, and I'm going to try loads of different outfits with the shapewear because one of the biggest requests from you guys is shapewear. So I'm going to try these ones on. So this dress is a size 12 for my set first. I've put the chafing shorts underneath, and I have to say, I'm... No, I'm not happy. I much prefer to wear a cycling short, like a thin cotton cycling short for my sewed first, which I posted the other day. These have got like a waistband at the bottom, which is like cutting my legs in half. Look, they're literally like that. And they're basically just a tights material, which I find is actually warmer than wearing just a pair of cycling shorts that are like lycra that are gonna glide past each other. These are like tights. I don't know if you ever wore tights all day and like get friction in them. That's what they feel like. So these are a no from me. But while I was in that department, I also managed to get a bodysuit. Like this, <laughs> this bodysuit. Is, I wear lots of this bodysuit. Like this time last year, I posted loads of videos of me finding these bodysuits, 
in Primark and it went viral and I kind of have a lot to thank Primark and these bodysuits for me having the platform I have now because it was just by chance that I found these and I started wearing them as outerwear. So they haven't got the black. I literally searched everywhere. They haven't got the black, but they have got the nude. And I feel like now I've got two nudes. I might experiment by trying to dye this and see what happens. So stay with me on that one. It's probably going to be an Instagram story or a TikTok that I do that on. But the extra smalls are back and they've got this amazing suction. And like I said, I'm definitely going to do a shapewear haul and compare loads of different things. That is coming super soon. So make sure you subscribe and then you won't forget to see that video. So talking of gym wear, I did hit the gym wear section, which you can see here. And it was very enticing. Like I saw it all laid out together. I thought, oh my God, it looks amazing. But there wasn't anything that really made me think, oh my God, I need that. It was all very like stuff they'd already previously done and have mentioned many times on Instagram how reliable the Primark Gym Wear stuff is. It's squat proof, it's sweat proof, it's really, really good for the price. Um, but there was no like sets where I thought, oh, I might get that or I'll take a risk. The only thing I did get was this because I have one similar which I've had probably for about four years it's got a hole in it but I still wear it today because it's just so comfortable in the gym this is like an upgraded version of it it's got this like almost shapewear effect at the side um it's really simple I've got that one in a medium which is a 12 to 14 seven pounds and again made using recycled plastic which we love to see and that's just to go with my general leggings my gym short leggings anything like that for the gym some white trainers but I just think that's a really nice piece to add in. And then obviously I've added this clip in too so you can see if there's anything else that you liked in the gym wear section. There was loads of really nice little bags, gym wear bags and things like that. Um, and like I said, they, there was really nice things, but I think maybe because I've already got lots of the similar things already, but there was nothing that really made me think, ooh, I really want that. So I just stuck with this. And I know probably a lot of you are gonna be disappointed because I did ask, on Instagram yesterday what everyone was hoping to find in Primark. Obviously shapewear was number one requested, but a lot of you did say gym wear, so. I mean, each their own, like you might go in there and find things, or you might see something from the clip there that you actually really like, but I was a little bit underwhelmed on the gym wear, I'm not gonna lie, so. Something that Primark did not disappoint on was obviously their holiday summer selection. And they've already got the bikinis in, they've got the swimsuits in, the hats, they have gone all out this year. And I've noticed they've got the shorts back in. So, again, I don't know what the fit is like since my lockdown weight gain, so I've bought a few different sizes. I have gone for these vintage shorts, these denim ones, which again, made from organic cotton and part of the Primark Cares range, £12 in a size 14. I think I've also got them in a size 16 because again, they just look like, I can just tell there's absolutely no stretch whatsoever in there. And I just hate putting things on that are tight, especially when it's hot, there's nothing worse. I just don't understand why brands think that some people want really, really, really tight things on a hot day, it's just not for me. So, got those ones to try. And again, in the 16, these ones do look a lot bigger, so. Hopefully they will fit. And then they've got the trusty polka dot shorts in. So this video from last year, I did it in, I think it was June 2020 when Primark opened again last year after the first lockdown. And again, it went absolutely crazy. Everybody loved all the looks I'd put together and the shapewear that I'd put with these shorts. And I've got them back. These ones are slightly different to last year's. These have got more of a blue tint to them, where the one last year were black and white spots, where this one is more of a blue and white spots. Four pounds still, which we cannot deny is an absolute bargain. And these are size 14, and I just think they're so good for those hot days. I wore these a lot on holiday. I wore them a lot last year in summer for just going around to my friend's house for a barbecue. When you want to just like sunbathe a little bit, but you don't want to be too naked. They're not too short, they're just really flattering. So these ones I absolutely love. And then I also picked up this swimsuit, which I'll try on with the shorts right now. And this was giving me Molly May vibes. I literally love the whole Molly May high neck swim costume with the shirt over the top. Like I just think it's such a vibe, really classy. So I saw this as I was in the queue and I thought, I'll give that a go. I did get it in a 12 though, so I'm thinking it's probably going to be a little bit small on the booty area, but we will try. I do really like my swimsuits to be tight so it pulls me in at the stomach. I think if you get a swimsuit and it's a little bit too big, as soon as you get it wet, you literally look like you're just like sagging. It's just not a look. So go for tighter, I think. It's got this cool back detail as well, which is like a spaghetti strap across the back. 
and I just think that's really nice. That one is £12 and I've got that one in a size 12 as I've just said. So I'll try all those bits on now together. So this is the 12 swimsuit. I did know it's going to be quite tight on the bum and my bum is literally like eating it. But then the length, like I'm 5 foot 2, I feel like this length it should definitely be higher because the back is like, it's, oh, I just don't know. I'm really upset so far, I feel like nothing has been flattering and the sizing is just so different for each thing. Um, this doesn't feel tight at all and up here, it just feels normal. But then it's tight here, it's not fitting at the back properly. It's like gaping here, I'm a 30, 38D I think I am now, but look it's like gaping so I can't imagine what it would be like for someone who's got a smaller bust. It wants to be like tight like this, but obviously if I got a size 10, my ass would literally be like cut in half. So I'm not sure. Guys, I'm not trying to be negative, but so far the sizing has been horrendous. These are a 16. I can't get them up. Come on. I'm a, I'm a 12 to 14 in majority of shops and the only thing I will ever get a 16 in is mum jeans. Let me just show you some boohoo shorts. Okay, so these are a Boohoo size 16 shorts. I'm gonna, I'm doing a short haul soon, so I've got loads in sizes 14 and 16. I'm gonna show you the size difference. Look how big they are. They're huge. They're so flattering because they're so big on me. So I couldn't even get that size 16. I couldn't even get it over my legs. I'm not <laughs> stupid, I know that I've gained weight since I did the last summer haul because of lockdown and not being able to go to the gym and stuff like that. But I just feel like some of the things are just, like the size 16 shorts, not a size 18. I'm wearing a tw size 12 bodysuit right now. Um, obviously there's nothing wrong with being size 16 or size 18. And if I did fit into any of those sizes, 100% be honest, I'm always honest about my sizing. But, I don't know and there's nothing worse and I'm sure you guys kind of completely relate this feeling of when you get stuff you're really excited to try it on and then I've even sized up a majority of these things and it just makes you feel really shit when the sizing is wrong it makes you think like oh my god have I gained so much weight like what's going on why does nothing fit but this is the thing I can like I just showed you I just showed you a size 16 in boohoo it's too big for me and then I'm wearing a size 12 bodysuit now so the sizing in shops is just the, uh, honestly this is why, why I'm so happy that I'm creating my own clothing line because I can try and get the sizing correct I'm going to try it on so many different people's bodies and things like that but it's just so varied and like every time I go to Primark I feel like it's different every time <laughs> and then the last few bits was this literally caught my eye I was like oh my god that's gorgeous it looks like it's real silk it's definitely not real silk because it was £2 but it's just so pretty so when you have like a low ponytail and you want to put this in at the back it just looks really really stunning and the quality is gorgeous you would never think it was £2 but I just think that's gorgeous to do like a classy look um with all like nice neutral shades or with denim shorts and just have like a nice little cute hair accessory. And then my Primark haul wouldn't be complete without some white socks. <laughs> I absolutely love these white socks for when I want to do my Princess Diana vibes, I want to do my leggings or my cycling shorts with some white socks and white trainers. These ones are amazing. I get asked quite a lot about which ones I wear and it's these ones which are the sport socks um, and they are £3, no they're not £3.50 because that's in Euros. I don't know how much they are because I can't convert from euros on the spot, but they are really, really nice. Love wearing these for the gym as well. And then, lastly, I got this headband, which I thought would be so cute to wear with um, a red bikini or some kind of red swimwear on holiday, if we do get the holidays we want. But again, in summer, just a nice little red headband you can't go wrong with, and this was £2. So lastly, before I go, I just want to say I went through the whole shop and took some more pictures, and footwear was one of the ones I didn't pick up anything up on because I've got so many shoes right now, I'm just trying to get rid of shoes. But they did have loads of good bits, so they had some really nice wedges, really nice flats, loads of different shoes, great selection and really affordable and then I also noticed that they had a new range which I've never seen before and it was like a pregnancy range I'm not pregnant but I have got pregnant friends friends that have just given birth so I know how important a good bit of pregnancy 
clothing is, and I know it's so expensive in the maternity ranges, where this looked really, really nice. It looked really classy. It was definitely giving me white company vibes, and I don't know, like the mannequin was dressed really cool. I loved the look. All this stuff looked really nice quality. It looked soft, so I really liked the pregnancy range that they had in. And then, finally, I did see like a, quite a few different dresses and things like that, and I thought, you know what? I'm not 100% sold on them. I can't be bothered to try them on, but they did look really nice, so I've included them there. And then finally, <laughs> jeans. I know I mentioned about the mum jeans, but they did have back in stock the ones that I always wear that you guys asked me about, and that is the frayed edge ones. Um, I've took a little picture of what they've got in the different colours. I think they're called ankle grazers, um, and they are mega flattering. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was a whirlwind. Literally, like I said, I got up at seven o'clock this morning. I am now filming it. I think it's like half past nine, something like that. I'm gonna go edit this and then I've booked in tahini and mill to have lunch with some friends which I'm so excited about. Sit outside in the patio heaters, have a brunch with a few glasses of Prosecco over lunch. I'm excited. So, also I forgot to mention there was a queue at half past seven this morning um, and I do know a lot of the stores are open until half past eight. Um, maybe even later in some different places. Um, so I would personally avoid very busy periods of time because it was manic. Um, but I will say as well, they were really on it with the social distancing, they were wiping all the trolleys down. It was very organized, it didn't feel like pandemonium. So yeah, I would recommend it. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that I've missed or you want to ask me any questions about what I saw today. Hopefully you saw I got a really good varied items of clothing. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys super soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.